just to be safer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark my table. Just like that. With pencil. Okay. And that should give me a mark. And I can slide that up there like that. I can take this sucker right here. go with the two and three quarter 70 millimeter I should be using West Systems, but I mean, let's mix this guy up here. So those two are rocking and rolling. together. See how it looks. Yeah buddy. First of all, if you don't own one of these, go buy one. I kid you not, that little thing right there starts my Chevy Silverado 2500 diesel. Okay. And this is by no means done. And yes, we are designing and building as we go. Now I'm getting the top done. Um, all this will be removed. It'll be epoxy, it'll be sanded, it'll be painted, it'll be fitted. We still gotta come up with some sort of gasket system for the seat and the lid. So that whenever it shuts, it shuts. And I still have to come up build the urine diverter um, that's the basic layout this goes away okay um, it'll end up down here and it'll be something that funnels this will probably be cut down this will probably be cut down um, and something it's gonna funnel everything this way there'll probably be some angles cut here so that it will come down right here and it can either go straight overboard or they can have a jug that it collects urine in. I have to source my stainless steel rod so that I can drill a hole and have an agitator. The agitator actually goes on the other side of this particular one. Go like that. Right there. And it'll be an agitator. There's a possibility that I might have to cut this back here. I didn't do it. Um, and so that the agitator, when it makes it circle, it has like a pinch point there to really do its business. I also might have to cut a 
hole here with a check valve to allow air in and out, allow air out. I haven't decided about how I want to do that. I really like the idea of having a flip system, like video that. some door that this will be a funnel, right? This is going to funnel down into like a square hole kind of sort of deal. And to have some sort of gasket flip system that flips up like that or flips back and flips like that back. Um, I like that idea a lot. That way you have double. That way, if you want to come in here and go to the bathroom and you just go pee, you don't. When you lift up the toilet, you don't get the smell of all the stuff that's going on in here. Oh, I gotta make um, my fitting so this will come down into a fitting so that it'll be like one and a half inch PVC that we can attach a hose to to go. Uh, all things considered, I think the toilet seat was $20. It was free sourced off the cabinets that we pulled out of the out of the boat already. Number was $30. And it's What are you doing, honey? Figured I'd test out your handiwork. It's kind of comfy. It's not finished yet. Well, how do you like the light, though? Oh, I think <laughs> I think the light is the added flair it needs. <laughs> of course, Jude was like, "What's this for?" Yeah, he stuck his fingers in it. <laughs> oh, that child.